some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Circleville, Ohio, where a pair of officers attempt to serve a civil protection order to a uh, very misinformed uh, sovereign citizen who ends up going full Chile de Castro on the officers and uh, will has to be taken for a ride as a result of that. And what I mean by full Chile de Castro is this guy thinks he knows everything about the law, uh, but uh, no, he doesn't. In fact, he proves to be just as incompetent as Chile himself. So we'll just call him Chile Jr. from this point on throughout this video. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to read anything. Blah, 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 blah. Well, gee, uh, in a few short words, could you tell me how you're a gigantic man-child without saying you're a gigantic man-child? Blah, 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 blah. Don't touch me, sir. Get out of my way. Freedom of locomotion. Move out of my way. Okay, okay, we definitely have a Sovtard on our hands, considering that uh, right to locomotion is essentially right to travel. But it's right to travel uh, from state to state. At this point, they're trying to detain him, serve him with this order of protection, and uh, believe me, he's going to say he doesn't want it, but he has to go to court to get rid of it. If he wants to get rid of it, he has to fight that in court and so no matter what he says right here he still has to go to court to get it taken care of no matter how many times he says that they can't serve it or whatever it's still a court issue that he has to take care of in court move out of my way i'm not going to anything get off of me 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 i'm not listening Josh. i'm not Civil sexual oriented protection. Blah, 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 You suck. Blah, 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 what am I being arrested for? Tell me right now, what am I being arrested for? Obstruction for what? Put your hands on your back. Hey, numb nuts. Yeah, they're uh, start charging you with obstruction of official business. Their official and lawful business was to serve you with the order of protection against you. Uh, you know, but you know what? I just wonder who in their right mind would want an order of protection against you? You're such a nice and generous and kind individual. Oh, wait, I'm not, no, I'm, oh, no, wait, no, never mind, that's somebody else I'm thinking of. Oh, wait, now, remember, you are the grown-ass, sob tarred man-child who thinks he knows the law and everything, right, like that. Now I remember. So let's carry on, shall we? You're going to get tased. Tased for what? You're going to get tased. What the f*** are you guys doing? Assault, bro. Assault. Bro, I have the right to resist this arrest. So I'm all for arrest. This is unlawful arrest! Unlawful arrest! Get these tyrants off of me! Right now! Right now! Get these tyrants off of me now! These f unconstitutional pirates! Get them off of me now! Well, if they ever wanted to make a case against you as far as disorderly conduct goes, there are plenty of ways they can do it with this statute right here. And that's not even mentioning the, obstru the obstruction statute that I showed earlier. So, yeah, he's really digging himself a hole really, really deep at this point. And, you know, I still just can't imagine why somebody would put an order of protection on this perfect little angel. Oh, wait, did I say perfect little angel? I meant a horrible little demon. Get the f*** out of my face, bitch! Sit down. Let go of me now! Sit down. Let go of me now, bitch! Let go of me now! Take that badge off! Take that badge off! Take the badge off! I got it. It's alright. We're alright. No, we're not alright. These guys are assaulting me in the f***ing hallway! And you're watching it! 
It's a violation of my constitutional right, freedom of locomotion. Sit down. No. Calm down. Get these torture cuffs off me, bro. Get these fucking torture cuffs off me. This is a civil lawsuit that you just harassed and tackled me to the ground for. You're not allowed to tackle people to the ground for a civil lawsuit. Revisionist history much? I mean, the camera clearly shows that you tried to shove your way past a police officer who was performing their duties, mainly uh, serving you with the notice. And, uh... Therefore, that instantly became obstruction, and I'm sure they could probably attack on assault on a police officer as well for doing that. You understand that, you piece of okay. That's a civil lawsuit. Okay. Yeah, okay. You don't know the law, you piece of That's right. Yeah, you are. No, sit I'm fucking not. Don't lay your hands on me, bro. Sit down. For what reason? Because I told you to. You're in what custody. law am I breaking? You're in custody now. For what? Obstruction. Of a civil fucking what? Obstruction of what? We were serving a protection order. You don't have you don't have the right to serve a civil protection order. Yeah, we do. I have the right to deny it. Uh no, you don't have the right to outright deny a civil protection order. In fact, that is a uh Something that you got to take to court if you want to fight it. Because it's simply that that somebody has uh, accused you of stalking them or domestic abuse or something like that. And they want you away from them. Gee, I can't imagine why that would be. You've got such a winning personality. What kind of person would, would not want you around? Oh, I don't know. Perhaps somebody within... Their right mind. I have the right to deny that protection. Get your hands off me. Well, if you sit down, my hands would be off you. Well, if you didn't suck a free citizen to begin with, I would be in handcuffs. No, bitch. Suck my d Suck my big fat 10 inch Suck my 10 inch That has nothing to do with obstructing justice. I'm not listening to anything you say, bro. La 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 la. La la la. They, they just harassed me to the ground over a civil lawsuit. Yeah, they don't have the right to do this, and they keep putting their hands on me. This is an excessive use of force. Relax. Relax. That's quiet. Hey, quiet. Quiet. First Amendment just... right. Fuck hey, you guys. Fuck your... you too, bro. Hey, what's your... Quiet. Okay, that's what's fine. Your name, partner? That's fine. What's your name, partner? I'm not identifying nothing. Okay. I was just wondering who was talking to this man. You don't know who you're talking, talking to. You have okay. no clue. All right. I'm not accepting anything. Okay. We're not going to sit here and listen to your mouth. Well, then you can go somewhere else. No, I can't. Well, then you better. No, I don't have to go somewhere else. It's like you don't this have is, to go somewhere else. This is First Amendment freedom of speech. This is my First Amendment freedom All right, then don't tell me to shut the up. Don't tell me to shut the up. I'm trying to serve the heat. Don't hurt your son. I don't have a son, so quiet. Yeah, you can't be an awful dad. Oh, yeah, probably would. Yeah, you'd be an awful fucking dad, wouldn't you? You'd hate to find out, wouldn't you? Come on. What was going on? So what was going on? I've been here for court today, and these guys grabbed me up for a civil protection order. Okay. They're not allowed to touch me for civil protection they order. They're not allowed to touch yeah, me for that. Was They're not allowed. They I'm not allowed to refuse well, a civil protection order. Okay. That's civil. That, that has nothing so. to do with criminal. Okay. That has nothing to do with criminal law, bro. Okay. So you were serving a civil protection order? No, I'm not. They were attempting to serve you. And, and, and they physically accosted me and assaulted yeah, me yeah. to serve me a civil protection order, which they're not allowed to do. They can only do that if I have a f***ing warrant, you piece of hey, up. Yeah, dude. So I'm sure that, uh, that that civil protection order was authorized by a judge, which means they had the legal authority to issue it to you. You just don't have the legal authority to reject it. You have to take that to court. I don't have a f***ing warrant, bro. Right, take these handcuffs off me now. I don't have a warrant. I didn't put them on you. I don't have a f***ing warrant. Yeah, we can do it. We can do it. We're going to have I need my jacket ripped off me. You guys are such pieces of I just saw you this morning. I did. I do. Yeah, before the, before these guys came and harassed me. All right. Well, I don't know what's going on. It's a it's a civil out. it's a civil lawsuit, bro. They're they're trying to serve me a civil lawsuit, and they fucking accosted me over it, which they're not allowed to do. They can only do that if I have a warrant against me.
Yeah. This is an unlawful arrest. Anybody who assists in this would be part of a 1983 federal lawsuit. What's your name about? You know what? I am not going to interrupt every time he's going to say something about civil rights from this point on because it is just going to be abundantly clear that this guy has no idea what a civil rights violation is and probably doesn't have the brains to comprehend what a civil rights violation actually is to begin with. So let's let him wallow in his own stupidity and spew out the nonsensical word salad that this guy is going to be inevitably spitting out here in the next few minutes. Badge number, sir. My name is Corporal Montgomery, sir. We don't have badge numbers. You got your body camera on? I sure do, sir. This guy arrested Josh, me and let's, let's, me uh, for a civil service. Head him down real quick, Josh. Yeah, you grab it on my This is what you did this for, huh? You arrested me so you could grab up on my you had no reason for arrest. What was I obstructing? Your civil service and you don't even have the right to serve? You should be ashamed of yourself. You have constitutional rights in this country. You hear me, goddammit? You know what a constitutional right is? I have the right against unreasonable search and seizure. This is unreasonable search and seizure. This is unreasonable arrest. This is a false arrest. Again, dude, for it to be declared uh, an unlawful arrest or an reasonable arrest uh you would have to go to court for that and uh well i'm sure at this point the judge would take a look at this camera footage and be like yep the moron deserved it as far as uh, your fourth amendment right goes uh well since you are under arrest the search now becomes reasonable just in case you have anything that could hurt these officers and my suggestion is that you continue to exercise or you should at least try to exercise your Fifth Amendment rights, even though you mistake them for your due process rights later on. No. My fing wrist, you piece of shit. You wanna fing take it out on me, dude? You wanna take out your anger more on me? I'm asking a question. Yeah, for my fing wrist. When these guys are tackling to me to right. the fing ground, you piece of shit. need to call me a piece of shit. I'll call you a piece of shit all I want because you you backing these idiots, bro. You guys should be on my side trying to help a free citizen. Instead, you guys are fing arresting a free citizen for no reason. They tackle me to the fing ground with no reason. Here, let's. Ow! Ow! My fing wrist! You piece of sh. God damn it, take that badge off and we'll go round and round. There ain't no marks on them or nothing. Okay. What's hurting all of My wrist and my leg been slamming to the fing ground, bro. Which leg, bud? My, my right leg, my knee. You gotta be okay, you think it's a fucking bone, slam me on the concrete. Yeah, man, consciousness, man. No, I didn't lose fucking consciousness, and you just fucking slam me to the ground, dude. Uh, just talk to us right now. I need you to start a report right now. Cuddy Ryan Henderson, type it in. We're gonna get you back to the front. We're gonna take a mile and see what's going on. Cody Ryan? Ah! Oh, this time he was out. Uh, right on, let me fix it. Hey, Cody, you gotta get in there. You're just gonna make, you're gonna get more charges on if you don't. For what? I protested on unlaw unlawful arrest. Ow! 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 Gave you two chances. Ow! Get in there. Get in. Ow! Step hold him there. It's an unlawful arrest. They didn't have probable cause to fucking arrest me, bro. You didn't even check their probable cause. What probable cause did they have to arrest me? What was their RAS of a crime being committed? What's the reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime being committed, sir? I'm asking you a question. Unit 50. Yeah, you don't have any reasonable articulable suspicion. Because you're kidnapping somebody and abducting them right now, and that's a felony. Chapter 18, Section 242, deprivation of rights under color of law. If you are to deprive any citizen of their rights, of their constitutional rights, that is a felony punishable up to 10 years in prison in federal courts. 
Chapter 18, Tommy. Section 242, Deprivation of Law. Chapter 18, Section 241, Conspiracy my Against Rights. You are now conspiring against my rights. This isn't going to do anything for you, bro. I'm going to get bailed out. I'm going to go get it dropped in court. Because you have no re reasonable articulable suspicion to arrest me to begin with, you pieces of shit. And you didn't even check their reasonable articulable suspicion to see if they had a reason to arrest me. You just agreed with it and nodded along just like a sheep. You have a noggin to use it. You have a brain to use it. Well, apparently you don't know how to use yours, considering that uh, you had it seemed to lack the ability to look any of this stuff up and find out that you are completely wrong. Perhaps you've been studying way too much of Chili's uh, BS or some other Sovtard guru or something like that, because clearly you're not exactly the thinking type in this uh, situation. Start questioning your other officers because some of them are not honest and some of them are not truly law enforcement officers and some of them don't honor their oath on the Constitution. And if you don't honor your oath on the Constitution, you will be charged with treason. Yeah, yeah, clearly you know nothing about uh, what treason is all about. Uh, the Constitution pretty much states it's uh, providing aid and comfort to the enemy of our country. And the last time anybody was even charged with treason in the United States, it was an American citizen that was charged uh, with working with Al-Qaeda. Unfortunately for him, he didn't uh, make it past a drone strike somewhere in Pakistan. And to find any cases of treason within the United States, you would have to look back even further to the World War II era, where there are a number of uh, special cases, including Tokyo Rose. So, dude, you have no idea what you're talking about. I have the Fifth Amendment right against unreasonable search and... I have the Fourth Amendment right against unreasonable search and seizure and the Fifth Amendment right to proper due process. And you have not used proper due process today because there is no reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime being committed. You'd be so pissed if you got arrested for no reason too, bro. 28 to 50. I'm heading your way. Do you need a 10? Negative. Negative. Just have a 10. Dispatch is having your jail strap running. They've been advised. You can't resist an unlawful arrest. I'll be, I'll be. Th this will be dropped by next week, dude. Okay. You're such a dumbass. It's gonna be a huge lawsuit, Bob. I just filed a complaint against one of your sheriffs the other day, so this is retaliation. I need to speak to my attorney. Hey buddy, you hear me? I hear you. We can't do anything about that right now, can we? Yeah, I need to speak to my attorney. That's an immediate right right now. Alright. As soon as we can get you out of here, okay? I can't do anything about it while we're sitting right here. Wow, what surprises me right here is that you even admit to having an attorney to begin with. I mean, what kind of an attorney would want to take your case? I mean, clearly they would have to be, well, insane just like you are. Oh wait, now I know who your lawyer is. Now I know who your lawyer is. It's Chili De Castro, isn't it? Well, dude, I hate to break it to you, but uh, your lawyer is currently in jail until, what, what, August or something like that? Or later than that? I don't remember the exact date he's getting out. Hell if I know. But hell, that's what you get when you follow the uh, flawed legal advice of a... Uh, so-called 20-year uh, constitutional law scholar who, uh, well, just can't seem to 
argue his way out of a wet paper bag and has a trifle that even he doesn't want to use. But hey, I mean, if you want to lick his boots clean, by all means, go right ahead and do that. I mean, I'm sure uh, uh, jail life isn't exactly the cleanest thing around. So yeah, have fun with that. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Cause you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.